Hello, I'm Trace. And I'm Sam. And we are Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And this is From Our Perspective. Welcome to Spooktober, everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Episode 38. Yeah, uh, fourth take. (laughs) Um... Yeah, we uh we're keeping the spooky theme alive um for the 38th yeah. episode. Well, um, we're not getting into the topic yet. Hold on. Wh- uh, sorry, we're not <laughs> ignore that. I was just talking about literature. He's a little tired. <laughs> I am a little tired. It's late because and I got you got back from New York. Yeah, I got back to which I got back really from, sound like an excuse. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Well, you shouldn't really because First of all, you can't be jet lagged from flying from Kentucky to New York. It's impossible. Yeah. You're in the same time zone. Yeah, so stop uh, whining. Yeah, well, you are the one who said. <laughs> Whatever. Two, it's like a two hour flight, so it's not that bad. I mean, it's bad when you're a large, large boy on yeah. a tiny in, in a tiny I Did wasn't I tell on you about my experience plane. my first time flying on a plane I thought you've never f- that I could remember I thought you said you've never flown No I flew down to Florida this spring Oh uh I got a seat near the front Oh near the the like the emergency exit Okay and I was like can I get like a seat belt extension and they were like hold on and they walk away and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> and they come back and they're like I'm sorry, we're going to have to ask you to move. And I'm like, why? <laughs> and they go, you can't have... You can't be one of the people who has to do the emergency open the door thing if you have a seatbelt extension. And I was like, okay. Basically, they didn't want to... I ended up actually getting a better seat, though, as the thing, because there was only two people. So I was on the outside, and they were on the inside, so there was a space Basically, us. they didn't trust you to save everyone else's lives. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't trust me because uh, I'm overweight. Yeah. Oh, look at look at big boy over here. He couldn't even save a life if look he at, tried. Look at Rollo over here <laughs> trying to stand up and help everyone get off the plane before it crashes. <laughs> oh, come on. You're going to try Pillsbury Doughboy. You're going to try to pull that emergency switch and get out of breath, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Sam's mom. Uh, I'm not making fun of no, your it's boy. Fine. That's hilarious. I'm just, um, how was your trip to New York, though? It was pretty good. Pretty good. City changed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a New Yorker now. I'm a New Yorker. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> um, New York was, City pizza. Pizza. It's the best. I, I had, um, I mean, I was, I was text. we were... We were in correspondence. I, yeah, we were in correspondence. I mean, there was a degree of me not wanting to share everything because I wanted to be able to talk about it okay. um, on the podcast. But, uh, I mean, yeah, we were in correspondence from time to time. So, I mean, it's not like you don't know. So, yeah, I had I, I tried a piece of New York. I tried a slice. <laughs> a slice um, of za. Slice of za. Slice of pie. <laughs> um, it was actually really good. It was, uh, it was like this little hole in the wall place. Really good pizza. Like a literal hole in a wall? Yeah. Like, there's just an arm reaches out and gives you a slice of pizza? It was a pizza <laughs> glory hole. <laughs> good old, good old Uncle, Uncle Paul's pizza glory hole. I um, hate that. The restaurant was called Uncle Paul's. Do you just, like, shout your order into the hole? No, it just kind of decides what you get. Oh, it's like, whatever. It's like if you go to a pizza place and you get the buffet, and it's like, whatever pizzas they made, you have to eat that. Oh, that's how it is at, like, my dining hall on campus. It's like, it's like you just get what they serve, so if nothing else looks good, it's like... You have to eat the tray. <sighs> yeah, I have to eat the the plate. <laughs> I've eaten so much ceramic since I've been in college. I think it's messing up my bowels. I was, I was, I was, I was pooping blood. My internal bleeding is immense. Well, that's where it should. That's where all your blood should be. And my day is ruined. And my day is ruined. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, review bra. Um, but yeah, I had some New York za. 
Uh, went to see Times Square. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I sent you some pictures and you videos. Did. <laughs> you did. That was um, very interesting. One of my fa- one of my favorite part of Times Square, uh, other than like all the con artists, were the people who wanted to take pictures with like other people. So you know how in New York or not in New York? Well, <laughs> yes, and also in New York, in Los Angeles, uh, on like the celeb the star walk of whatever the fuck it's called hollywood boulevard hollywood boulevard maybe fucking i could stars be wrong on the ground. where the stars are on the ground yeah and they're like the people who are dressed in like decent costumes just kind of like waiting for a picture yeah I know now imagine about. if all of those people were uh short and either hispanic or asian and also overweight that was like pretty much everyone in costumes there. There was gang violence Elmo, who was great. I sent you a picture of him. Yeah, he did send me that. Um, there were like three different Elsas. <laughs> That'd be very confusing. And then here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'd they're all get a walking of around. All three. Yeah, they're all walking around, and and this is the craziest part. So they've got like these two bit costumes. Yeah. They're walking around with the helmets, like, the heads of these costumes off. Like, they're, like, on their head. And they've got, like, balaclavas on. So you can't see, like, anything except for their eyes. Yeah. And then, like, when someone walks by that they're trying to get a picture from, they don't, like, pull the helmet or the head down with their hands. They, like, (laughs) flick it down like they're, like, some (laughs) badass motorcycle rider. (laughs) And it's like, it's like, and then they walk up to you and they like get in your way to get a picture. I don't think I would like that. That sounds intrusive. Well, here's the thing. Like, Elsa's won't approach a 19 year old man who looks like he's like 25. Why not? Uh, I'm not sure. They just don't. Like, you I noticed would, something. You would have gotten a picture with Elsa, right? I would have gotten so many pictures. I would have gotten more. I'm not going to go there. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah. So, all those mascots, great. There was also a video I sent you. The video yeah, was great. it was horrible quality. Was I it? I didn't really know what was going on. Oh, I'm so, you should have told me. I would have resent it. Oh, okay. Um, so, <laughs> okay, so what it was. I just saw a person, like, slide across the street or something. So, it was like... It was like thursday night it was one night we were walking through times square it wasn't supposed to rain it started raining and out of nowhere i was like the leader of the pack because i kind of i've never been in new york city but i figured out where i was going pretty easily okay uh everything's pretty like everything is decently self-explanatory um regardless i'm leader of the pack walking through the crowds of times square it starts raining a little bit no biggie. We're just trying to go some. We're like, we have a destination, yeah. so we're not going to be like drenched. And then out of nowhere, in front of me, about 10, 20 feet, I see a man. And you know, you know, in Borat, when he's like wearing that bikini thing that like straps over his shoulders, <laughs> covers nothing, cups his private parts. Mm hmm. And yep. then is like a thong up his ass crack. Yep. That's what this man was in. That's what this man was in. Okay. Um, also, he was not. He was not he a was physically fit man well, either. Right? Because it's raining. He was wet. He was <sighs> wet. He was not a physically fit man. His junk was about to fall out any minute. And he was wearing high top sneakers. That was the weirdest part to me. <laughs> All of this in high top sneakers. But he was just running around Times Square, slipping and sliding like it was Rockefeller Center. <laughs> like the ice rink was open, which it was. It opened when we got there. Um, but it was great. It was so great. We were just doing it. <laughs> New York City. And apparently... City and apparently, of dreams. <laughs> city of dreams. City of industry. Apparently, because my mom took a video and she posted it on Facebook because she has no shame... Um, posted on Facebook, <laughs> and someone else who's been there said, oh, he's there all the time. 
I was like, incorrect. It's we like went to this. Times Square three different times and all once. He is not. It's only there in the all rain. The he only comes out in the rain. He's like a Pokemon that only comes out in the rain. Yeah. He's slip and slide Borat man. Slip and slide Borat man. Slippery Borat. Anyway, let's get into this topic, baby. We'll walk in here. Um, like I previewed at the very beginning, we're still in speak to me, baby. It's scary. <laughs> I'm scared. Scary season. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scare ya. Oh shit! I accidentally closed out one of my tabs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the scary. That's the thing. scary part is when I'm not prepared. Oh, um, <clears throat> so before before we get into the spooktacular that is going to be next week. Um, we're going to talk about real ghost stories, totally um, real ghost stories. And I want to preface this, real. I want to preface this, Sam, do you believe in ghost? Nope. No. Why? Why should I? Just why? Um, I don't know. Why don't you? Why don't you? <laughs> it's very aggressive. I'm Come scared. On. Answer me. Answer <laughs> okay, me. Okay, okay. I'll kill you. No, it's like they just move like a cup or something. Why are they okay? Why are they in period <laughs> clothes? Ghost, ghost, notoriously just <laughs> not cups. just cups. You know what I mean? They don't like write their name. Like that would be like my first step. It's because you're not using a Ouija board. Why you need one? Why don't Why don't they just they pick go, up a pen and write? Hey, I'm. This is. I'm. This is me. I'm what a if ghost. ghosts are like? What if like ghosts are like? Um, it would be like really cool if ghosts were like Beetlejuice ghosts. I remember Alec Baldwin and the other and lady. the lady, yeah, and lady from Beetlejuice, yeah, who they like can do cool stuff and like pull off their faces and then make their faces really long like pterodactyls. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. Yeah, that I watched that movie recently. Um, uh, but yeah, it's um, I don't either. I know I was giving you a hard time. It also only happens at night. Like, why is that the case? Yeah, and, and like you said, why are they always in period clothes? Why, why is there naked? either there's all yeah, there's always That'd be f- fun. There's more people dead than there have ever been alive. So all over the place, why right? aren't there like they'd huh? be like all over the place, right? Yeah, they would be all over the pl- I mean especially especially like before Christian like if we're talking about like a like if you Ghosts exist in like the ghosts that we think of exist in like a Christian, I guess, background. I is, yeah. So they're stuck in between heaven and hell. Unfinished business, stuff like that. There's unfinished business, and the way that you get in heaven is you accept Jesus Christ. But a lot of these people before Jesus was around didn't know about him. So how can they accept him? They gotta go read a Bible. In their afterlife. They gotta, in their afterlife. So here's what I'm saying. More or less, it would be a lot of cavemen <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> because they don't, first of all, they don't know how they to read. They don't know how to read. That's, that's a good point. Don't know how to read. They they didn't accept Jesus. Oh, no. I feel so they, bad for they're these definitely cavemen not getting in, They're like. They're definitely not getting into heaven. Horrifying. I mean, they did they. Did they really do anything to go to hell? They didn't have the rules yet. So, I mean, like... The rules? Like, from Fairly Odd The parents? rules. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, they're they're definitely in that transitional Damn. period, so they would be the ghosts. That's tough. But no, we get all like these Victorian ghosts who are like, My name is, is Cynthia, and you, you, you ate my doll. Why aren't they, like, um, modern ghosts? Like, it's just like a... Like yeah, and then, yeah, and, like and then flannel. There's, there's the other thing. It's just like there's no hipster ghosts. <laughs> it's like, ugh. dying was like way too mainstream. Moving on to like my permanent afterlife was like way too mainstream. Living was just too like I was done living before it was cool. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, real ghosts. That's my you say. real, real big ghost story. Yeah, we don't believe in ghosts. Um. I just I'm I'm a scientific type guy. I mean, if you want to, you can. We're not telling you not to. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with it. I just disagree I just with you're you. Stupid. And you're stupid. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I disagree with you. I mean, that's fine. 
I've never experienced a ghost, so I mean, Trace until, experienced uh, alien stuff, so that makes him an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. Well, no, I. Well, I don't believe the aliens have come to Earth, and it's not that I have experienced alien stuff. It is I have experienced an, a UFO. It was unidentified. Okay. It was flying, and it was an object. I think. <laughs> um, but I'm not saying it was aliens. But it was like crazy. Um, it could have been just a UFO, regardless, an unidentified flying. <laughs> non object. What is? Yeah, wait. What's the opposite of what an object? It, nothing. So I just air? flying nothing? <laughs> a a UFN. UFN. <laughs> okay, regardless. Let's get off the topic of aliens. We're not talking about those. We're talking about real ghost stories. Real ghost stories. I'm sorry. Sam, I know that we don't believe in ghosts, but I think at the end of this episode we will. I think I will. Because these are very real ghost stories. And the first... I've ventured to this website a lot. We're going to HuffPost.com. Oh, our favorite. We Our should favorite. get, like, sponsored by HuffPo. HuffPost, look. You're looking for someone to sponsor right us. Here. Just keep... We're very desperate. Keep pumping out shitty articles. <laughs> <laughs> Just shitty keep pumping out trash. That, that appear at the top of the search engine. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a couple years old. Um, but this this article is titled 12 Terrifying Ghost Stories You Shouldn't Read Alone." So it's perfect because I'm not alone. I have you and I have our audience. Should, should we uh, turn out the lights? Yep. Yeah. Here, let me let me go do that real quick. Uh, click click. Do you and want they're me to off. do that really? No, I'm not going to do that. I oh, don't okay. like yeah. Wait, I, no, I totally did. You just heard me do the click click oh, thing. Oh, sorry. Well, I didn't yeah. because Anyway, ghost stories. Do it. Do, no, click, do click. it. We're not. No, <laughs> I need. I need it more believable. Okay. Do it. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, ghost stories. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, it's tough not to get freaked out when you're alone and you hear something bump in the night or even hear a voice. See, now I have had un like unex. If you all listen to the episode with Cameron Myers. And his, his like demon fucking story. banana story. <laughs> and, see, now, if I would have experienced that, everything that he experienced, which I don't believe some take of it. Take it with a grain of salt. Take some of it with a grain of salt. I don't think he's salt. intentionally lying, but... It may have been exaggerated. He's, yeah. Um, if I would have experienced that word for word, you... You damn well know I exper- I would believe in ghosts, <laughs> and the re- and the fact that he doesn't surprises the hell out of me. <laughs> no, right? Um, regardless, um, let's talk about ghosts. Yes. This first one's called the cell phone. Very scary. Um, a couple of months ago, my friend's cousin, a single mother, that's hopefully that's like necessary to the story, or else I'm gonna be really upset. Bought a new cell phone. After a long day of work, she came home, placed her phone on the counter, and went to watch TV. Her son came to her and asked if he could play with her new phone. She told him not to call anyone or mess with text messages, and he agreed. Okay. That's it. That's the whole story. No, I'm kidding. Um, (laughs) Around 11... he didn't do it, and he went to his room, and everything was okay. And he didn't mess with the phone calls, and he didn't message anyone. And then a ghost the showed end. up. <laughs> and then the ghost went, boo, <laughs> I'm a ghost. Uh, no. Around 11.20, very specific, she was drowsy. So she, you could have just said 11 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Around 11.20, she was drowsy. So she decided to tuck her son in and go to bed. She walked to his room and saw that he wasn't there. She then ran over to her room to find him sleeping on her bed with the phone in his hand. Why would her first reaction be panic? What, when your son's not in his room and it's 11 o'clock? Yeah, Did but like... Did she tuck him in? No, she found... She didn't tuck him in. She was going to tuck him in and he just wasn't in, her, in his room. At 11 o'clock? How old is this kid? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. It uh, doesn't say. Just a boy. He's just, just a boy. Just a boy. Just a boy. Okay, he's in her bed with her phone. With her husband. Yeah, relieved she picked... <laughs> no, she doesn't have one. I'm sorry. She's a single mother. I feel bad now. Um, relieved she picked her phone back up, 
from his hand to inspect it. Browsing through it, she noticed only minor changes such as a new background, banner, etc. But then she opened her saved pictures. She, uh, she began deleting the pictures he had taken until only one new picture remained. When she first saw it, she was in disbelief. It was her son sleeping on her bed. But the picture was taken by someone else above him and showed the left half of an elderly woman's face. Okay, these aren't real. There's no way this bum, is bum, real. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Cool, call cool twist, you know cool twist. No huh? old lady ghost is yeah. going to know how to use that phone. What is this? I don't know why I went to, like, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> what is this thing? What am My I doing? My grandson has to help me figure this out. And she wakes the kid up. You know, you... <laughs> she's, like, looking at the kid, and she's like, You know, you know, your your brother was good with cell phones. Are you any good? Are you any good? I don't she's have a brother. Confused. She's very confused. She's very <laughs> old. She's dead. She doesn't know what's anyway, going on. Anyway, next story. I don't think... That I don't think bullshit. these are real. I don't... I don't think these are real. If they are, maybe actually, one will be real. If they're actually claiming to be real, then they're gonna have to try harder. Who says that an old lady didn't break into his room and do that? That would be so goddamn terrifying. Maybe she that lives in the more walls. terrifying. That would be more terrifying than that a real ghost. That would be so ghost. much scarier than a ghost. You're right. <laughs> um. Okay. My house was built in 1904. Not a good start. Very bad news. This isn't part of the story. I was just giving you a oh. fact. <laughs> No, that is part of the story. Uh, it is a single family home, wood frame, settling on a concrete block foundation. All of this is necessary. Do you want to do a time um, check? Uh, we can. What are you at? Twenty five, forty four, forty five. Yeah, we're on. We're good. We're good. Okay, just check on. Now let's not okay. cut it out. Sure. People know that my computer's <laughs> shitty. <laughs> it'll be a running trend. And then occasionally we have to do time we'll checks. Get a T-shirt. It'll say time check. Time check. That's our new thing. <laughs> anyway, a Nike ad opened, so let me get back to where I was at. Just do it. Fucking, I hate ads. <laughs> okay. This hap- uh, House. okay. Um, <laughs> I've been living here for about 12 years. Of all the weird things that my siblings and me have seen or heard in this house, this one event is my favorite. This happened to my brother. About 10 years ago, my brother and his best friends had started a garage band playing mostly Spanish rock alternative music. That. What? But in sp- <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Spanish rock, comma, alternative music, but in Spanish. Interesting. Um, his friends could only get together on Sunday afternoons. They would practice into the early evening, and they would usually call it quits about 8 p.m. This was uh, the time I usually showed up and went to bed because I worked the okay. graveyard shift. Wait, who's working a graveyard shift and still living at home? Uh, I didn't mean to. My brother would be very offended. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't even thinking. But, okay, to be fair, I was imagining this... This person with the garage band was their older brother for some reason. I don't know why that came into my head. Yeah. But I'm trying to give you an out. Uh. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the other thing, is now I'm imagining, like, this this Spanish rock brother to be, like, 40-something. <laughs> he's still his older brother. It's just... He's much older. Okay. Yeah. Continue. Uh, this happened in late fall, so the days were getting shorter. They had just finished a long session when the decision to head to someone else's house came Why? about. My brother handed his car keys to his buddy. Who knows? Who knows? Why did they have to talk about the date the house was built? And the foundation. <laughs> it, spooky. Spooky. Sets the atmosphere. Stone foundation. I know that's the scary, <laughs> it's certainly cracked by now. And that's going to take some serious repairs. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to need a lot of coke. Um, my brother handed his car keys to his buddy so that they could load up his equipment. Everyone had filed out of the basement, but the tricky part was... Wait, I thought this was a garage thing. I guess it was... It was a, you can't call no, it, a, it garage a garage band, band and then say we basement. practiced in the basement. It's a basement band. <laughs> yeah, just call it a basement band. People definitely know what you're talking about. But the tricky part was... Yeah, but the tricky part was that they needed to walk all the way back up all the way to the back of the basement, up the back stairs, through the kitchen doorway, down the hall into the living room, and out into the front porch. 
Everyone was outside sitting in my brother's like truck waiting for him. House, my brother was walking. With all this discretion. Yeah. It's got... And don't forget the stone foundations. Up, and it's going to uh, be my very brother was, My brother... <laughs> my brother... <laughs> my brother was walking up the back stairs when he remembered that he had left his pancakes. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know... What? If you're doing... If you're working on your garage Pardon? music, you gotta have some stacks. On your Spanish rock. <laughs> when you're writing Spanish rock with your you buds. Have, with you your gotta boys. have some hotcakes on hand. You gotta have that, that big old flapjack stack. You gotta have flapjacks. My brother was walking the, up the back stairs when he remembered that he has left his pancakes in a to-go <laughs> container sitting on the speaker in the basement. He made the decision to go back. Now the basement is not is not clean. Now what? What is the story? What is it? Now the basement is not clean. With full sight lines, there had been partitions made, and the boiler and the main heating unit are right smack in the middle. What is that with this detail? I'm gonna draw a floor plan of this house. A Spanish rock band. Why did he? Why did we? Look, I love the idea of a Spanish rock band, but why do we need to know the genre? As much as the next guy. <laughs> love Spanish rock as much as the next guy. Now the basement is not clean with full sight lines. There have been partitions made, and the boiler and the main heating unit are right smack in the middle. So after my brother walks back, he is out to re- he is about to retrieve his food container. When out of the corner of eye- his eye, he sees it. It is a shadowy figure right at his peripheral vision. Okay. <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> this, this feeling of dread and uneasiness washed over my brother. Yeah, because he saw something been out taught... of the corner of his eye. Yeah, that would scare me. We had been taught that if you are in the presence of a spirit or a ghost, you can f- you that and you felt a bad vibe to say a quick prayer or to cuss I at it. Like, I just imagine yeah. seeing a ghost and you're just like you just like you see a you see what you think is a spirit and like you feel dread and you just look over at it and you just go cunt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Um. My brother chose the ladder. He basically just told it, Hey, fuck you. I don't have time for this <laughs> shit. Why? Okay, gone with hold that one. the phone. <laughs> what kind of advice is that? Yeah, piss Cuss it off. It. That's a great this idea. It's a long one. Why is this one He'll so fucking long? come to you in your dreams long, and, like, kill you. I'll, I'll, I'll kill you. My brother started to walk back to the basement to the back of the basement and briskly walk up the stra- stairs, closing doors and turning off lights as he was walking out. The last light switch is on the opposite side out? of the front ghosts door. Love Luckily, the dark. yeah, well known fact about like, ghosts. Luigi's Mansion darkness. taught me that. That's factual. Yeah, you Luigi, can suck them up with Luigi's a vacuum. Luigi's Mansion. Factual. Facts, straight facts. My brother said he felt something at his back, and at no point did he turn around as he flicked the last switch in the living room. The li- the last switch, the living room went dark, as he did, as he as did the rest of the house. And he stepped out. As he stepped out, he pulled on the door, closing it behind him, still holding his food container in one hand. He jogged to the porch the steps. Gotta gotta keep them. Can't leave the pancakes. See a ghost? Doesn't matter. Get those <laughs> flapjacks for the boys. He walks. He walked towards the front gate. Our house resides far. We from already the got the spooky oh. part. Unless something else happens, like it follows him outside. Essentially, having a there's got to be a twist. And it out I don't know why the whole time it's like continu- this as he walked. It was me the whole time. <laughs> as he closed the gap between himself and his f- friend laden truck, he kind of smiled and thought things over in his head and mad at himself for spooking out when there was no reason. He climbed into the driver's side of the truck, putting on his seatbelt and getting ready to pull out of the parking spot directly in front of the house when one of his friends asked, Hey, wait, what about your brother? Isn't he coming with us? My brother answered, What do you mean? He went to work early tonight. He is already gone. Do you see his car anywhere? The next question they asked was, So then who was walking behind you when you were leaving the house? It's just like some like incredibly fucked up demon, and they're like, oh, it's Ricardo. <laughs> Hold on, I thought hey. the brother was there. I thought he said he got home or something. No, apparently not. Apparently on this whole convo- 
apparently you could have boiled this this story down to like a, <laughs> yeah. like a, a fucking yeah, let's paragraph okay. my brother was with his band they left the house he forgot his pancakes in the basement <laughs> he <laughs> walked downstairs to get them saw a ghost turned off the lights and left and then his friends were like what was no, with the ghost? No, you forgot one. You forgot one. No, you forgot ver- one extremely crucial detail. The stone foundation. <laughs> I was mostly going to say that he told the ghost to go fuck itself. Oh, yeah. I did forget about that. Sorry. But, yeah, the stone foundation is probably more important. It's crucial. Like, I was expecting that to at least come up at some point. Like, maybe not the stone foundation exactly, but, like, my house was built in 1904. Okay. Oh, and there's something related to this that I should bring up right now. But I but was I watching won't. with my mom this like oh. paranormal show. Yeah. And there was this part where this guy was like clearly faking. It was like obvious. So yeah. he like comes down the stairs and he's like, I saw like a demon or something. And then like this guy, it looks like a guy in like a black morph suit kinda comes out for like half a second. And he goes, <laughs> Oh, oh and he starts shaking the camera. <laughs> and then he says he moves. And at his new house, there's new ghosts. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, like, he's holding just... his phone in front of me. He's like, all right, I'm just filming myself for no reason, I guess. And we're going to see if any spooky shit happens. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> perfectly over his shoulder, like, right where you can see it. Like, like he absolutely meant it to be there. You see, like, a picture move or, like, a box slide across his mantle. And then he, like, makes a loud noise or something. He goes, oh, oh, he starts running out of the house. <laughs> Uh, I used to always watch the Ghost Adventures shows. <laughs> They're so fucking great. My mom They're just watches glorious. those because she makes fun of them. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Anyway, next um, ghost story. The next one's called The Rocking Horse. Hopefully oh, that it's sounds not... creepy. This one's short, too. It's like two paragraphs. Good. It just gets right to the point. Right one to the night point. when no I was maybe... No house structure. One night, when I was maybe 10 to 12, sitting in my house built in 1904 with wooden walls and a stone <laughs> You're foundation. Joking, right? Yes, I am. Okay, thank God. When I was maybe 10 to 12, I had trouble falling asleep. My bedroom was the entire top floor of our house. Maybe it was a what? very small house. It was like a tower. <laughs> it's, it's Rapunzel. Yeah. It's Rapunzel. <laughs> it's Rapunzel. Um. Uh, of our house with my bed and such being on the left side and storage closets and the play area being on the right side. So your room wasn't the entire top floor. Yeah, stop lying to us. Stop fucking lying. I'm tired of this. Um, I was lying, of course you were, in bed when I heard a noise from the other side of the room and see a rocking horse begin to rock. It was sitting just outside one of the storage closet doors. It proceeded to rock its its way halfway across the room and stopped dead under the ceiling light. At this point, I was freaking out and just buried my head under my blankets and never peeked out again until morning. It was all confirmed to not be a dream as the rocking horse was still in the middle of my room when I woke up. Furthermore, I got a stern reprimand from my parents for being up and out of bed and playing with my toy. This is already fake. No parent would care about a fucking rocking horse. No, but up up past their bedtime. Up and out of bed and playing with my toys well past my bedtime. Their bedroom was directly below the storage closet and play area and had heard creaking on the rocking horse shuffling across the room. That is such bullshit. That is... Ooh. We gotta do that after every story. Ooh. We're definitely why not do, gonna Why is that like a ghost these. noise? I don't know. Why Apparently would, ghosts Let's do say that. you're a ghost. Would you ever do that other than as a joke? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I guess so. I guess I would do that. Would At one point it cup? would just become... That's like the only it, thing you can pick up? Well, it would definitely... It would. Yeah, you just start moving a cup. It would definitely be ironic at first if I were a ghost, and then it would slowly become uh, unironic. It's like it slips in. <laughs> yeah. Just like when I do the Bernie Sanders thing. Like, he at first it was him. ironic, but now I can't stop. He can't stop. Hello, it's me, he Bernie can't Sanders. can't stop smashing the 1%. Anyway, <laughs> next ghost story. This one, the, the next one's kind of long, and then the one after that's pretty short. Do you want me to skip this long one? What's it called? 
Um, it is called The Following. That sounds kind of interesting. Okay. My older sister has a ghost that's followed... <laughs> It's Hold followed on, her around for years. Wait, what? Fine. That's actually how it starts? Yes. I thought you were joking. <laughs> no, that is actually how it starts. I lived with her once for about three months, and so much weird stuff happened in that time. All my sister would say to me when I mentioned it is that her ghost didn't like me being there. This, Things like okay, going... Okay, hold on. This sounds yeah? a lot like she was trying to get her sister to move out. <laughs> Oh, it's a ghost. The all ghost my clothes, doesn't like you. You have to leave. All my clothes were bleached and then shrunk in the dryer. It was a... Uh, what? <laughs> what? It was a ghost. But yeah, why do not your clothes... Why don't your clothes... Why don't your clothes do that then, sis? Oh, no. Guess, guess ghost no. doesn't like you. It's following guess you. Ghost, guess ghost Anyways. doesn't like you, sis. It's my ghost. My, my friendly ghost. Um... Things like going to bed with everything locked up and switched off and waking up in the morning with the back door open, lights on, and the kettle switched on. Sounds like your sister's a sleepwalker, not a ghost lady. Or you have a person who likes to break into your house and like watch you and sleep turn on your And turn on your kettle. <laughs> yeah, he wants, to, he wants to boil some tea. Yeah, he wants some tea, but then it, it like it starts making that noise and he's like, fuck, they're going to wake up. So he runs. Uh, one night, my sister and I were... He always forgets, were, though. He's always back yeah. trying to make it. Yeah, he forgets that it makes noise. One night, my sister and I were getting ready to go out, and I asked to borrow her liquid foundation. It was stone foundation. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I used it and put it back where she kept her makeup. Ten minutes later, she's asking me for it, and it was nowhere to be seen. Are you telling me the ghost stole... Her foundation. Liquid foundation, of course. Um, Why would it she do ac- that? What is the point? I'm so mad right now. Is, just be a little goofy guy. Uh, she accused me of taking it and made me buy her a new one and refused to listen to my side of the story. How can you acknowledge that there's a ghost that doesn't like your sister and then be like, there, she stuff didn't is disappearing? The ghost that follows her. <laughs> no, the sister was the one who said that she had a ghost following her and that that ghost didn't like the storyteller. Maybe that's how it started. Maybe this is before she realizes that she has a ghost that follows her. Okay, maybe. She accused me of taking it, blah, 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 blah. About a year or so later, when she was packing to move to a new house, she found the makeup in a shoebox with some old letters. The shoebox was in a zipped-up suitcase that was underneath her bed. But probably the most scared I ever felt was one afternoon. Wait, is that, like, proof that it's a ghost? Do ghosts, like, do shit with shoe boxes? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> shoe boxes. No, they're Were the saying, letters how from a ghost? put it in there? An old... I don't know. Ghost letters. Anyway, but probably the most scared I ever was... One at, was when one afternoon, when I was the only one in the house, which never happened, as four other people lived there. Okay. And you're just accusing your one sister. Four other people in the house, and you can't admit that, like, it could have been someone else. Yeah. I'd arrived home from work and headed straight to the bathroom. All the doors, windows, etc. Had et to take a Mondo Duke. Had <laughs> <laughs> to take a big boom boom. <laughs> I was standing in the bathroom and started squeezing a pimple on my chin when a female uh, voice wh- oh, hold in the on. hall well, said... Hold on. Why do we need those details? <laughs> well, because you'll hear what the ghost says. The go- The female voice in the hall said, Stop picking your zits. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> it was loud enough. Mike was out. Did it really say that? It said, Stop picking your zits. It was loud enough and sounded real enough, and at the time, I thought it was my sister, so I laughed, told her to fuck off, and asked what she that was makes doing for away, dinner. So it's fine. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. No answer. I stuck my head in the hall. No one was there. I searched the house top to bottom. You scared roof the ghost off. To st- roof to, found- to stone foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Search the house top to bottom. There was no one home. I sat out on the front porch until someone else got home because I didn't want to be in there alone. Interesting. <laughs> I feel like I had to scoff for some. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. I- I- Sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. 
Uh, this one's called Annie ninety six is typing. Oh, oh, a computer ghost. Yeah. My new favorite kind. <laughs> computer ghost. Remember uh, the Scooby Doo, Cyber, <laughs> Cyber Ghost, Chase. Cyber Chase, Cyber Ghost guy. Wasn't it something to do with like a baseball program? It's like a like a virtual reality or something like that, and there yeah. were like alternate versions of the mystery gang. It's very strange. Shaggy with a red shirt. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> He's exactly the same other than that. Uh, this is much more of an interactive experience than anything else on this list. Okay, As you read it. through this... Oh! I have to manually click a link. Don't. Why? Don't. That sounds scary. While playing around with WhatsApp, I stumbled across a weird chat history between two people I don't know. It scared the hell out of me when this I tried like to find it again. Pasta. The app crashed and kept crashing. Luckily, Mario looked at the screen and his eyes were bleeding. bleeding. Realistic, Luckily, hyper-realistic I'm blood. Hyper-realistic blood eyes and big old <laughs> hyper-realistic nose. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to make a copy. Here it is. Annie 96. You asleep? This is at 1.31 a.m., I guess. Okay. No, guess you're not either, colon P said McDavy. Okay. Annie 96, can't. It's the wind. Sounds like cats fighting. What's your excuse? Colon P. Studying, said McDavy. Colon P. Annie 9 <laughs> colon, colon, open parentheses. Colon pal. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Annie 96, so that's what they call porn now? Colon P. <laughs> McDavy says, Annie, WTF. I love this. Love this, this so is much. So cool. Annie says, not denying it, colon P. McDavy is typing. McDavy says, I still can't believe what Johnny did today. Annie, my me neither. That boy has issues. What WTF, the wind's so loud, it doesn't sound normal, lol. McDavy says, no wind over here, just rain. What is this? Is a ghost going to come in through her window and kill her? And he says, lucky you. I need my beauty sleep, colon P. McDavy says, damn right you do, semicolon, close parentheses. <laughs> Has anybody ever used that many emoticons? <laughs> colon P. Well, I've texted you now. I'm going to start ending it in colon P. <laughs> this one's our last one, by the way. This is our last one. So hopefully it okay. ends good. Any ninety six. What? You mean I look? Shit! I think I heard footsteps. She like stopped typing in the middle of a message and then sent it anyway. Shit! I think I heard footsteps on the gravel outside. McDavy, get your crazy dad to check it out. Colin P. Annie ninety six. I'm home alone. The fam. You cut out. <laughs> did I? Did I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Time check real quick. 47.55. Okay. We're good. What happened? Annie 96. I'm home alone. The fam are on holiday, remember? <laughs> I told you this. <laughs> McDavy, really? Till when? R we should hang really? out. <laughs> really? Colin P. <laughs> Till when we should hang out? Colon, Colon uppercase D. Oh. They really sound like footsteps, but there's something odd about them. It's like they're ghost footsteps. No, <laughs> she doesn't say that. I should look down out the window, but my bed is so warm. McDavy, sure you want to look out the window when you're alone? What if there really is someone there in your garden looking up at you? Colon P. <laughs> yeah, that's not like scary. And then he's like, Annie, <laughs> like I am right now. I would see him. I'm You're totally cool. Annie ninety six, not funny, David McDavy. Wow, chill ellipses. I'm sure it's nothing. Annie ninety six, gonna check. Burb, sorry, brb. <laughs> McDavy, if there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Annie 96 Ghostbusters. Is Annie 96 is okay. typing. David, there's someone in the garden. McDavy, what? Really? Annie 96. Yes, I can see a man's back. 
Hold on. I just, <laughs> just realized nothing 96 else. is like 69. Almost 69. Yeah, I it's just almost got 60, that. Yeah, good one. Mick Davey, what's he doing? 96 is typing. He's looking for something on his hands and knees is in the bushes. Okay. McDavy is typing. I don't know why all of a sudden it's like putting the typing things up. I don't know. It's is this like tension. a real is this a real conversation happening in my in front of my eyes? Andy, don't go out yeah. there. <laughs> ha ha ha. He must be high, probably looking for his drugs, colon P. <laughs> I was I'm I was really hoping we'd get another colon P before the end of this. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> David, this is serious. What should I do? Uh, Nothing. Call the cops? Nothing. He'll probably go away by himself. Colon, close parentheses. Oh, my God. OMG, now he's digging with his bare hands. Call he's the ruining cops. the garden. What is garden. wrong with this lady? Shit, he's turning around. What does he look like? She had time to type, he's turning around. Any 96 is Before typing. Before he had just turned around. David, WTF, this isn't funny. What? How are you doing that? What are you talking about? Any 96 is typing. I can see that it's you in my garden. How are you writing here without touching your phone? You can't be Okay, well, I hope it's not written like that. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me banging on it? Fuck, Annie, now you're scaring me too. I'm definitely not in your garden. That's not me. Colon P. I'm <laughs> kidding. He didn't me. didn't send the colon P. Stop playing around. I can Stop. see your face and you're wearing that stupid football jacket you're so proud of. What? McDavy is typing. It must be someone who looks like me. Honestly, Annie, I'm at home. I wouldn't play around like that. Colon close parentheses. It has to be a friend of yours, David, playing a sick prank. How else could he be wearing your jacket? Is this almost over? This is so fucking long. There are loads of jackets like just that. Just kill her already. My friends don't look anything like me. You just have me on your mind. Semicolon, close parentheses. He's digging again. Fucking leave already. Annie, do you have a gun <laughs> in your house? <sighs> don't be stupid, David. I couldn't shoot anyone. Oh my God. You don't have to use it. Just show that you're carrying. Doesn't that jacket have your name on the back? doing the typing thing. Yeah, the team all got one with their name on. I can see your fucking name. What? What the hell is it, David? What is happening? I'm so confused. There's so much. Fuck, he's seen me. Why is he smiling like that? He's coming. Call the cops. Annie, Annie, pick up. McDavid. McDavid is typing. She died. She died. Duh. She died. Fuck. Was that was so ghost? dumb. I don't know. Also, it was like a doppelganger. Was I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm mad. I'm so mad, colon P. <laughs> colon capital D. Semicolon. Colon close parentheses. Semicolon open parentheses. Oh, Fuck. God. Anyway. Sad <laughs> winky face. Anyway, that's all the real ghost stories. I think I believe now, especially after that last one. <laughs> after Annie 96 is typing... Fuck, I'm a believer. I'm a believer now. Yeah. Anyway. When I saw her text. Now I'm, I'm a believer. A believer. Okay. It was Davey's so. face. And his sports jacket. <laughs> it had his name. <laughs> On the back of his jacket. <laughs> We're doing good. She's in love. Ooh. He's now he's killing porn. her and he's digging in the front <laughs> he's garden. Probably high. He's probably high. Anyway. Okay. Today in history. Yep. What happened? Today. Any 96 type today? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. Oh, I'd love that. That'd uh, be great. Actually, in 1520. Oh. I wish it was from 1904. And there was a stone foundation. <laughs> and I lived in that house for 12 years. My, my brother had a Spanish rock band. It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like alternative rock, but with Spanish lyrics. Anyway, in 1520, 
explorer Ferdinand Magellan and his fleet reached Cape uh, uh, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and became the first Europeans to sail into the Pacific Ocean <laughs> really yeah interesting apparently. um that's very uh, interesting he the so wait circumnavigated the globe well, technically, I think we talked about this in the Misconception episode. He didn't because well, he, he died he before died, he got but there. His boat did, and that counts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he basically did. Um, here's the here's a fun fact about him: he actually didn't die. He's still alive. He's still alive. Um, he's still circling. He's, he's made it around hide- about five hundred well, no, times. He's hiding in Argentina. Oh, okay. Yeah. With Hitler. <laughs> Yeah, because they're both still alive. Now, Hitler is, I mean, he would be like a hundred and something, but that's still more believable than like 1,600 or 600 years old yeah. that Magellan would be. <laughs> um, but yeah, he is there, and he is 600 years old. Um, and he definitely looks it, because he's a ghost. Anyway. Oh, he's a ghost. Was he? Th- he's a ghost. Actually... To be honest, Ferdinand Magellan is the one who killed <laughs> Annie, Annie 96. 96. He was digging around in the ground looking for uh, his body, maybe. Ferdinand Magellan was McDavy. <gasps> bum, 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 bum. Totally true. Can't prove this Totally wrong. true. Both of those, both those f- facts. 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 He killed Annie and then fled to Argentina. <laughs> for his many war crimes like killing <laughs> Annie 96 that is a war crime that is okay everyone knows Geneva Convention anyway today's holiday yeah October 21st mhm is I think this should be like our national holiday this has to be I'm so ready it's, I'm, I don't know what it is it's national babbling day this is us cause that's what this we do this is our right? day this is our day this is our this is our holiday. We literally, on on my request, cut like the third take of this podcast, this specific episode, because we babbled yeah, too much. we were babbling about movies. Today is for babbling and for celebrating babblers. While a babbler is a term that can be ascribed to someone who seems to talk nonstop about nothing, it fits pretty well. <laughs> yeah. It can also apply to a baby making noise. Uh, we could descri- try to describe this holiday in more depth, but then we would just be babbling because there really isn't much more to say. Great. <laughs> well, that's what the holidays about. But to go on would be fitting, though, wouldn't it? We just love babbling about holidays anyway. Just like me. Whoever wrote this is like. It's you. Did I write this? Sam, you're digging through my front garden right now. <laughs> I see your sports me. jacket. It they says Sam me. Borders. I don't have a sports Sam, jacket. It says Sam Borders on the back. He turned around. It's not. It's you. He's smiling at me. He's smiling at me. Colin it looks, P. It looks strangely. It looks strangely like Ferdinand Magellan, but it says your name on the back. We Colin both have P. beards, so it's hard to tell. Colin P. Sam, call the cops for me, Colin P. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just going to call this episode Colin P. <laughs> you have to put Colin P in the title. From our perspective, episode 38, Colin P. Nothing about ghosts or anything, just Colin P. <laughs> now you got to put something. Like Real ghosts, spooky ghost Colin stories, P. Colin P. Colin P. There we go. Okay, so to, Real... to celebrate Babbling Day, um, just do just it. Just listen to it. Just listen to listen. this podcast, because... Listen to all our podcasts because this is all we do. If is you want to, if you want to hear one like really that's about babbling, listen to any of the one. Listen to either uh, in the Navy or the Rambling Men. Yeah, because both of those go nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> they're <laughs> they are or rambling. or a whole lot of nothing. That's one episode between just me and Sam where it just went nowhere because I wasn't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Can I show yeah, you the picture this... that represents Babbling Day? Yeah, go for it. I'm sharing. I'll it try right to now. describe it best as I can. <laughs> it's 
It's just an old man like screaming into a microphone in a field. It looks like maybe like an orchard or something. <laughs> like an orchard. And he's just an old man. <laughs> Scre- well, he's not even screaming into the microphone. He just has a microphone. <laughs> he just has one. It's like he's yelling off in the distance while in an orchard. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway. And here's the thing. It's like babbling day, but he's specifically screaming. Yeah, it's not babbling. Maybe he's just very intense about his... He's very intensely bad. Maybe the sun's in his eyes is why he's squinting and not yelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Thank you for listening to From Our Perspective. Hopefully it sent this episode sent spooky shivers down your spine. Weirdly enough, I'm not going to lie, there were parts where I was a little scared. <laughs> you got a little creeped out? I don't do well with scary stories, especially being in a location alone, even though they are all complete bullshit. Yeah, no, and even though I don't have, like, a front garden in my college dormitory, I'm afraid to look out my window well, The idea to of someone see... being outside your window is very creepy. Like, it's happening to it me would... right now talking about it. Especially since like I'm on you're... the second floor, and I would open my window, and there'd just be a guy standing there. Well, you have, like, a roof. There's nothing. I'm on the third oh, floor. There is nothing. Because he'd be floating there. Sam, I'm oh, actually like funky. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay on the call. Thanks for listening to episode 38. Um, you know, if you got any friends who like to, li- I don't know why, who would like to listen to this podcast, <laughs> send them send them our way, or anywhere else. Um, uh, yeah. If you have a, any topic ideas, let us know. We'd always be we're always willing to talk about pretty much anything. Um, give us a rating or a review wherever you listen to the podcast. And you can find us pretty much anywhere at From Our Perspective. We're on iTunes or Apple Podcasts. They're getting rid of the iTunes store. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podbean, Stitcher, YouTube, all the places. Um, you can find us at all of those places at From Our Perspective. Uh, if you want to hear more from us or hear updates and stuff like that, uh, see little clips that we put together, snippets, trailers. Uh, you can follow us on social media, and you can do that at FOP underscore pod on Instagram and Twitter, and from our perspective on Facebook. Other than that, we post the podcast every Monday, and we will see you next Monday. I've been Trace. And I've been Sam. Goodbye, Colin P. Toodaloo!